All right, Hades Omega here. So uh, I got an interesting uh, plethora of turbo components here. So to my left here is a uh, is a uh, mostly a uh, second gen uh, second gen Eclipse turbo components minus the turbo. And on to the on the right here we have uh, basically a 1G Eclipse, or this is the parts that came out of a Galant VR4. Um, turbo components. So let's take a quick uh, look at both of them, compare notes. Um, supposedly a lot of the 2G stuff are improvements over the 1G stuff. And um, except the the 1G had a bigger turbo and had that crappy Garrett T25 but I don't have one of those right now. Um, so uh, Let's start off with the heat shields. So these are two heat shields. Um, pretty much the same. Everything is the same, pretty much. Um, so you can see, this one is in very bad shape. <laughs> it's a very, very rusted. I don't know why it's very, very rusted. I suppose they get like that after a while. This is a second gen one. Um, maybe the metal is better. Maybe the metal is better quality. This looks like a galvanized steel or something. So I'm assuming this probably second gen uh, heat shield may be more uh, corrosion resistant. For the most part they look the same except there's a little no touch um, like a logo embossed onto it. Other than that they look pretty much the same to me and they bolt the same way. Um, yeah, It seems like these always uh, get elongated or they fall off like these ones. These ones are pretty much done. Like I'm sure if I press hard enough that thing will just bust right off. So those are the shields. You can take a look at the insides. Oh you can see I, I got this at pick and pull because it's got a it's got the numbers on it. <laughs> yeah other than that it's uh they look pretty much the same. So let's set those aside. So here we go. We got the Exhaust manifolds, very important component. It holds your turbo to the cylinder head. So, um, and I have a, I have this here uh, caliper. We can measure some stuff. So these are two stock manifolds, one from a Galant VR4 or basically 1G Eclipse, and one from a 2G Eclipse here. Um, and I'm going to be swapping the 2G Eclipse one on. Supposedly the 2G is an upgrade, so let's see. So let's measure the um, turbo outlet, the collector portion. Let's see how wide it is. Oh, whoops, I'm using the wrong way. Haha, -ha. gotta be smarter than the tools that you use, right? Operator error. Okay, so it's about 54, well, it looks about 54, 55 millimeter. Whereas the second gen is pretty much the same. Yeah, if anything, it's a little smaller. Yeah, it is. It's, uh, well, it's about 54 also. Like I said, it's actually smaller. <laughs> so I don't know. I don't see how it's upgrade. But I can tell you this. The casting on this uh, 1G manifold is horrible. Cause look, it's uh, yeah, it's much smoother casting on the second gen manifold. Um, yeah, these have different numbers on it. And, um, it looks like the collector portion is a lot thicker on this than this one here. So the one G looks a little beefier, huh? Look at the top sides. Yeah, I'll try not to cut myself with this one G manifold. Looks pretty much the same, yeah? Yeah, almost. There's a little rib here that does not come here. Um, I wish we could measure we could measure the ports. So, I'll just do the second one here. Just get a general idea. So about 50. 50 millimeters oval. And here we have, aha, here's a difference. It uh, seems to be a little bit 50. Oh, it's the same. 
pretty much the same. Yeah, the same. <laughs> it's the same. It's the same manifold. I don't know where, how they say uh, one is the upgrade over the other, because uh, they seem the same to me. Um, like I said, the casting looks better on the second gen. Other than that, I don't really see a difference. Other than this one has a ton of cracks in it. This one is not have a ton of cracks in it yet. This one's in fairly good shape. That's why I'm going to put it on the car. Um, maybe the, um, actually, yeah, you know, I noticed a lot of the the components uh, from the 2G are, are corroded. I mean, this has been sitting outside. There's stuff like mold and shit growing on it, but for the most part, it doesn't look all rusty like this. But, I don't know. Okay, so now we have the O2 housings. So immediately, I can tell you the difference is uh, where the oxygen sensors mount is different. Um, hmm, that's really interesting. Hold on. Let's check a look at something else. Alright, well, how fortunate of me to have a second gen Eclipse with me right now. So you can see that the O2 sensor is down there, whereas still. On the second gen, there's a cutout for it, so you could just swap them and still use the the, the heat shields. Uh, or are they? Yeah. So, so the, the second gen, indeed, the O2 housing, the O2 sensor, is located in a different place, lower. I don't think it really makes much of a difference. I would imagine. I would imagine. I would imagine. Hmm. I don't think it would make much of a difference, but I think if you had the O2 sensor closer to the the collector portion, it's uh, where instead of just where the the turbine spits it out, um, is probably better. That's what my guess is. So probably the design's a little better. Other than that, it looks the same. Oh yeah. Also, there's this little ring thing in my jigger. It's over there. I don't believe. I don't believe this fits. Wow, this doesn't want to come out no more. I don't know. It fits. So the rings fit. So pretty much, just they're both the same. Um. And then uh, I can't. I wouldn't even bother. Uh, this is a ported one already. So you can see whoever. The goofy person that I bought this off of on eBay poured the shit out of this thing. There's not much left of it. Um, yeah, but it looks absolutely horrible. They just attacked it with the grinder. <laughs> yeah, for the most part, they are the same. Yes, they are. Except for the... the um, well, I can tell you now... Well, I don't know. One is ported over the other. That's the problem. So I can't really make much of a comparison. Oh, well, no. Actually, yeah, if you do look at it... If you do look at it, um... It looks like the the O2 man of, the O2 housing is a little bigger over here because it doesn't have the O2 sensor thing here. See, see how they kind of like... They pinched it off here? So... Definitely the o the second gen is a better design, and I think the O2 sensor is in a better position. And well, I'm not an engineer or anything. I'm just saying. Yeah, check out my Crocs. Okay, so this is a second. Um, this is a <coughs> excuse me. It's not a second gen turbo. It's a it's a small 16G. Not really sure what car they come from. Um, not really for sure what car. Uh, a small 16G comes from, but um, and this is their 14B. This is the uh, one that comes on the first gen Eclipse, pretty much. It's a good turbo, but the 16G is bigger. Let's take a look. All right. Well, immediately you'll notice this still has the stud on it. I'm not gonna put that back on, but uh, you can tell just by looking. You can tell just by looking at the two uh, two exhaust exit. The 
exhaust exits for the turbine that um, the small 6G is bigger, much bigger. So, just 53 millimeters. We're past the ring, anyways. This one is. So I'm gonna have to do some porting on the exhaust manifold. This is a 60. So 60 versus my my 54. Big difference. Very big difference in the exhaust housing. But I wonder if you can swap, make like a hybrid turbo. You know, swap the 16G housing onto the 14B. But uh, I don't know. I don't think you can do that. I'm not sure. It sounds like an interesting project. Um, and then here's the compressor housings. Oh my, the compressor housing is a uh, much bigger on the small 16G. If you look at them, sorry, the camera's upside down. Yes, they are. Yeah, the small 16G is much bigger. Let me just let me get the inner diameter here of the 14B. Inner diameter. 14B is 43, almost 44 millimeters. Or this one kind of like it kind of tapers in, but I'll try to get something. There we go. It's about 40. They're not precise measurements, but they're 40, no, 47. So 40, big difference. Big difference on the, the turbine inlet. And the, the, I mean the compressor inlet and the compressor outlet. Let's see if there's any difference there. It's about 34 millimeters and yeah, 34 millimeters. About the same. So your compressor inlet is smaller on the 14B, whereas the 16 16G is bigger. Outlet is bigger too. So it's definitely. The small 16G is definitely made to uh, pump out more air. There we go. Pretty much, it looks like the exhaust wheels look the same. Achieve a full, the full amount of boost on this turbo. That can't be good. Um, yeah, so we can go. We can measure that one. Oh, a little bow here. Both turbos have that too. Wow. So, uh, oh, also, uh, let's take a look at the, let's take the, let's take the compressor wheels, I mean, compressor housing wheels.
So you can tell the the wheels are well. Obviously, the wheels are different because the the housings are different. The 16G has a bigger housing, so definitely the 16G was made to flow some serious shizazzer. It's a good 14B. It's really good shape, except for the except for this guy. This guy's in bad shape. That's a, actually now that I think about it, I think uh, that's pretty common with these 14Bs. I, I don't know why the wastegates are like that. This one has a little bit of play. Yeah, a little bit. But I'm assuming because there's no oil in there. That's why. So there you go. There's a little comparison. Um, it's kind of weird. There's a little bolt here that's just uh, kind of stuck there. It's kind of welded itself on there. So those are the differences. So I'm definitely going to have to port. Um, I'm definitely going to have to port this out to match that. In fact, I'm probably all I'm just going to do is just port this little ring out and just ditch this guy. That's what a lot of people do. That that's what I did on that car. So there you go. There's a little uh, little fun comparison between uh, first gen Galant uh, stuff and 2G Galant. I mean, 2G Eclipse uh, con turbo components. Um, yeah, I can tell the two housings are a big difference. The the casting is better. We found out the casting is better on the 2G. It seems it's a little smoother, um, but pretty much, uh, you know, that the stuff that that matters, the outlets and the the outlets and the turbo inlets, turbo out, whatever, <laughs> the ports. Are the same, and the the and we found out the small 16G is, of course, I mean obviously it's bigger than the 14B, bigger overall, and most of the components. So I mean it would be interesting to throw a Evo 3 16G. Actually, I've compared a small 16G versus a Evo 3 16G, and the wheel in the Evo 3 16G is is also much bigger than the small 16G. So. But I like the small 16G because it spools good. I like to, I like less lag. Um, yeah. So there you go. It's pretty much the same turbo. It looks very similar, but there's some differences. Please make out.